I do want to mention something. Um, on one occasion, I always like to say that Rudolf Verber once told me a lie. He, Rudolf Verber was, as we all know, a very hardworking, dedicated scientist in his field of research. I knew him primarily through the huge amount of effort he had put into using his knowledge of the Holocaust to expand awareness of that event. He had testified in some very important trials of perpetrators. He increasingly was invited to give lectures in numerous different countries about the Holocaust, but he was also a hardworking scientist. On one occasion, happened to be the retirement party for his friend and my colleague John Conway, I found myself sitting with Rudy Verba and I said, you know, let me ask you a question. If you take all of your broadly defined professional time, your work as a scientist and your contributions to knowledge about the Holocaust, what percentage of all that time do you devote to the Holocaust? He looked at me very seriously and said, less than one half of one percent of my time. Now that was not true. He was an extremely dedicated scientist, but I knew how much time he also devoted to teaching and testifying about the Holocaust. But it was a very revealing moment because it was a reminder that in his own mind, Rudolf Verba was above all a scientist. His survival of having survived the Holocaust made it possible for him to be Rudolf Verba the scientist. He had something to say about the Holocaust. It was important for people to know about it, but he wanted the world to understand that who he really was, was a scientist.